They do spot out where he is, though. So Peanut yeah. takes that information, goes for uh, the first camp steal of the game. Exactly. Really smart play. Kuro shoves up, as you mentioned, puts the ward down. Now they can track PvP Stejos, who comes in late to the fight. But still, Peanut's not liking this battle. Look at the Woo. damage output. He's almost dead. This is going go. first blood. Exhaust comes in. Suddenly, Kuro's here. And Smeb is already rotated down as well. Smurf's got to show up soon. The flash to get away. Peanut still gets control over the Raptors. And I think uh, Rox actually came out ahead here. Well, yeah, Smurf. Smeb is the... This is the taunt, goes back for the trade oh! again. Stay out, looking for to get hit more damage, and he might bring him down. Smith flashes, gets away from the buckshot. But here comes Peanut over the wall, looking to find this time, gets it now. The taunt's not going to be much, and he gets himself first blood, and oh, here's flash. the chase. The jumps over the wall, good repel. The taunt's going to land in the curl, though. How much more do they have? He's Trying low. to put the last little bit in, and it's two kills for Elvis Knox. Talk about being ready to react to any situation. You can track PvP stay host on Graves, but Elisa half health cannot take that fight, and Peanut got blasted there. Oh my goodness, two kills starting it out here for Albus Knox yeah, Luna. Such a greedy invade here from the Rocks Tigers, and Peanut walking in, and then he just finds the Graves in his own jungle, able to proc that Q on the wall very quickly, win that early trade. Smurf came down very late, but once he finally joined, he made some magic. If we track the damage dealt in this exchange, like PvP Stay Host does so much here, even though the first roam is from Smeb, that's kind of why Peanut turned around for a second there, is because he knew he had Smeb on the way. But it's a disjointed three-man move here for the Tigers. Kuro is out of mana on this Jace, so they know they've got him trapped in the jungle. And they know Smeb is coming from somewhere, but not really sure where exactly to find him on top side. Now Smeb just simply caught out, has to flash away, but you're behind enemy lines now, three members in the jungle, and now you die. Yep, Smurf gets enough damage in, and Stahos knows he can chase him out. Yeah, I guess he's gonna live, and the Elise gets to walk away, but another great taunt comes out from Smurf, and it just means enough CC is there. Yep, good maneuvering there by Smurf also to get that Q pass through.